Lastly. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use the set button matrix mode on the push hacker. Hi, I'm Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer. So in the previous tutorials, I showed you how to use all of the modes on the push hacker apart from the set button matrix mode right there. So I'm going to use that now. Let's click on the click to select button and select maybe this pad here on the matrix on the push. Okay, so using this function, you'll be able to make that red square jump to a specific location in your live set. You know, this red square defines the area of your live set that is controlled by the matrix here in the session mode on the push, right? And it's quite convenient to make it jump to a specific location, like a, a different song, for example, instead of using the classic cursor here. You know, with the cursor, you get to click many times to move your square within the live set, and it's quite inconvenient if you're on a huge live set. So using the set button matrix function, you'll be able to specify a specific location for that square. So first of all, let's hit the learn matrix mode. When it's blue here, I can now choose the specific location right there. That's it. It's been set, you see. Let's, let's move the square back up a bit. And now let's use that pad on the matrix to send the square back to the location I've chosen. And you can choose many locations that way. Let's choose this pad on the matrix and let's choose, I don't know, uh, a different location here. Let's choose set button matrix first and then learn matrix. Hit this location right there, right there. So now I can jump, you see, between this location here and that location there, yeah? And I can basically make that square move many different times during my live set to specific songs to access the clips I need to access. So that's it. We've seen all of the features on the Push Hacker. Wonderful machine that will certainly change your workflow with Push forever. Remember, you can also deactivate the device altogether, deactivate the pads altogether, just like the on and off mode, remember? You can ask the Push Hacker to follow the track. So it's only active when the Push Hacker's track is selected. So when I select this track where the Push Hacker is nested, the Push Hacker is on. If I select a different track, the Push Hacker is automatically turned off. This is another option we wanted to 